I'm really excited to talk about a brand new AI platform. Now, that's different than the actual AI model. This is a platform, but the big thing about this is that this is open source and it was developed by academia. That is a huge, huge thing because this is something that is really going to be impactful for academia, for research in general, dealing with AI. Now, this is called OUMI, and that stands for Open Universal Machine Intelligence. AI, but they want to use machine intelligence because that's more uh, correct as far as what's going on here, right? To be trusted, AI should be advanced collectively, transparently, responsibly, openly. openly. We believe that the future of AI is open. Join the movement. So the idea here is that this is made up of all these different universities. There's some big names there. And this is coming together to make it as easy as possible for these different universities and for that's open for other academics to use as well to really be able to use AI for research through these open source mechanisms. So by having this type of platform, it allows for easy integration of open source AI models, many different ones that are out there, and it allows to manipulate different aspects of that, such as the, the training data, such as all sorts of different components within the process of using the AI. Now, this is a platform, so it's not an actual AI that we can just go into and compare like with ChatGPT. No, this is sort of the overall structure to allow you to use different open source AIs. So this is sort of the backend aspect to that, but this is really important because this is created and developed by academics. And there's multiple universities, there's been some big investment, $10 million. That's very small amount compared to, to the $500 billion for, for other big names. But the big thing here is that they're being able to be successful with this because this is backed and put together by some people that worked at Google, worked at Apple. They've come together with academia to put this together. So this has lots of powerful ramifications for what can be done, for the research that can be done. The way that this is working is that it's not about having huge data centers that have huge clusters. No, this is all distributed. So it's being done in different locations, but by having that distribution, they're still able to compete with being able to put this together. So a lot going on here. Please check it out. Please see what is, is now going to be available. These are important options for universities as they look into what can we do to do research in this field? What can we do to have an instance of a protected AI Using open source is definitely an option, so this is definitely something to look into. So I suggest that you look in here because, again, lots of flexibility, lots of what can be done here. There's so much potential, and it should definitely be that academia is leading the way with this. So this is very exciting news. Please look into it. Please share so that we can get the word out there so that there can be even more universities joining this so that academia can lead the way in AI research, which it really needs to do in order to remain relevant and in order to have AI be more open, be more democratic, be more uh, safe for all of us. So definitely this is something for all of us to get behind. And remember, learning is for life.